Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Connor. I'm a 14 year old reseller over on the Poshmark app. If you like reselling content like this and you'd like to follow along with my journey as a teenage entrepreneur, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. And give this video a thumbs up, it really helps out a lot. It means so much to me. But anyway, today I have another thrift haul for you guys. Um, Last Tuesday, I think. So when I upload this, it'll probably be a few weeks ago. But um, we went, we drove like 45 minutes to another town to go thrifting because someone told me that thrifting was good there. Um, we went to Goodwill, Salvation Army, and then three or no, four small thrift stores. And I got 17 things. We were thrifting for like six or seven hours. So I didn't get a ton for how long we were thrifting, but I got some really good stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys. But yeah, I think I'll hop right into it. So I'll just go ahead and grab something. Okay, so this is Yumi Kim. Um, if you watched my Thrift With Me video a couple weeks ago, then you probably saw that I found this for the first time. But it's just this pink like almost like a tuxedo, not tuxedo stripe, but like pleated down the front with these buttons, pink roll tab sleeves, size medium. This is an expensive brand. Like this top probably retailed for around 150, but I'll only be able to get like $25 from it. So re resale, resale value, retail value is high. Resale value is low. I, words aren't making sense for me right now. <laughs> So the, I found this at the last thrift store we went to for the day. It's J. Crew. It's an old J. Crew piece. At first I thought this was one of the newer labels, but I was wrong. This is like seven years old, I think, which I don't like to pick up J. Crew that that's old that's that old, but this was a good style and they're actually still making it. Like, um they're still selling it on their website, just a newer version, obviously. But it's just this like navy blue, like almost like a utility back it kind of Really nice, that gold hardware. I did find though when I was taking pictures of it last night. Fuck, like, where was it? I'm not sure, there was a rip somewhere, so that was a bummer, but yeah, I can't remember where that was at, but there was a rip, so might have to sew that up. It was in like a pocket, I think, so won't be a big deal. I paid $3 for it, so if I knew that hole was there, I wouldn't buy it, but oh well. So this piece my mom is gonna try to keep um, and if it doesn't fit her, then I'll sell it. But this was at a small thrift store. I found a lot of stuff at this thrift store, but um, it either had like flaws or the comps weren't the best, but I found some good brands here. So and this is just Vince Camuto. So not a great brand. It's sometimes sold at Stitch Fix, but this is a size medium. This is striped button down blouse. It has these two like ties in the front here. It's a really nice style for Vince Camuto, like better than most stuff that I found from them. So it'll sell if she doesn't keep it, but yeah, not a bad buy, four dollars, so. Okay, so this was from Salvation Army. So the Salvation Army here, it makes me so mad, but I didn't know this until after I got the stuff home, but they staple the tags on, so it like rips it kind of when you take it off every time, but. But it's Tory Burch, so. Not my favorite style, it's kind of pretty ugly, but I wasn't gonna leave, leave it behind for two dollars. So this was exciting. Um, this was at another one of those smaller thrift stores. I was here for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes maybe, and I only found one thing, but it was a good find. I did pay up for it, I paid $20, but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me put this in my stories, but it's this Christian Dior, I think it's vintage, but men's trench coat, it's like green, full length, ties with the belt there. Yeah, so this was really exciting. Um, I think this retailed for probably over $1,000. I'll probably list it at two or 300. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth paying up for. Um, it's a size, if I can find the size, I think it's a 48. So, I can't find it, okay. Oh uh, no, it's a size 42. And it has like that um, zip out, like removable liner. So yeah, this was a really exciting find. I didn't like paying up that much, but I think it'll be worth it. I might try this on eBay. I don't have much experience with eBay, but I don't know. So this is Joie. I don't always pick up this brand. There's a label. I think this is just usually sold at Nordstrom. I think it's sold on its own too, but it's a really expensive brand that's sold at Nordstrom. Um, like their stuff retails for hundreds of dollars. This is a dress. This is silk, like basic black dress. It's probably retailed for like $300 if I had to guess, but I'll only be able to get like 30 from it if that. So not the best brand to pick up. I wouldn't pick it up all the time, but this was like five, $5, I think, so, I don't know, I went ahead and picked it up, but, 
It's just hard for me to leave this brand behind because it is so expensive and it usually is pretty nice, but I don't know. We'll see how it does. I'm not sure if I said this size. Size medium. I actually don't know if I've ever sold anything from Joel. Like I've had 10 pieces in my closet, but I don't think any of it's sold, so. Okay, so this was at another one of those small thrift stores. I might not have been the best buy, but it's Sparkle and Fade from Urban Outfitters, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Urban Outfitters and not um, Anthropology, but it's a size small, I think. And it's just this full leather mini skirt. I don't know, I thought it was a good style, so I did go ahead and pick it up because it was only $4. I'll probably only be able to get like $12 from it, but that's okay. I think it's a good style for fall. Okay, so next up, this is Fabletics. I do like to sell Fabletics. I won't pay too much for it, but it's Fabletics and it's new with tags. It's just this Liza tank top, but it's super strappy. If I can figure out how the straps work, it took me a minute the first time I grabbed it, but wow, I'm so challenged. Here. Okay, I think I got it. This is a strappy tank top, black. These like multimedia straps up here. I don't know, nice basic style, retail for 50 and new tags. I'll probably get $20 from it. Did I say, I think it's a size medium. Yeah, size medium. Okay, so this was at the first Goodwill we went to. That Goodwill was really good, um, but it's Ghani. So I saw this on the rack and I know I recognized it. And for a second, I kind of thought it was like a designer brand. I thought I just, for some reason, Remembered it. People saying it was a designer brand. It's not really. Um, sometimes sold at Anthropology, not always, but this particular piece was. It retailed for like 160. But it's this really nice red, like textured knit, fit and flare, a line skater dress. Really like this dress a lot. Perfect for fall. Color is really nice. It's a size. Size is down here. Size medium. So yeah, it's really nice classic style. Comps are amazing on it. I'll probably get 25 or 30, but I liked it. And it was $6, no, it was six, six fifty, I think. So definitely more than I would have liked to pay, but oh well. Another anchor piece. This is Saturday, Sunday. It's just this slip dress, like V-neck. It's like a midi length. I don't know, not the best style, but it's kind of nice. It's gotten a little bit of attention on Poshmark so far. It's been listed for a day or two. But the main reason I picked this up is because it is a newer label anthropology. So how you can tell if it's a new label, it will say by anthropology or for anthropology, something like that. So this is a newer piece from like a year or two ago, probably. So that was a plus in the main reason that I picked it up because it was 650, which was more than I would have liked to pay again, but I'll probably get $30 from it. Okay, next, this is one of my favorite brands to sell. Um, and I really like it for myself, but it's Everlane. This is just a basic tee, but Everlane. It's this gray, like kind of scoop neck, short sleeve tee. I only get like 10 bucks from this and I paid 350 or something like that. So not a big profit, but Everlane always sells really quickly, no matter the style really. Um, so yeah, I'll always pick up Everlane as long as it's not outrageously priced, but I have a pair or two pairs of shoes from Everlane and I love them. They're my favorite shoes. Um, super nice quality. I want to start buying their clothes too, but I don't really want to spend the money on it. So I always just go to their clearance section every once in a while because they do have some pretty good sales sometimes. There's a bomber jacket that I really want from them, but it's $90 and I don't really want to spend that much for a jacket because I already have like 20 jackets. <laughs> but anyway, I'll stop rambling. This is AG. So a I still don't know how to, how to pronounce this brand. Um, Adriano Gold. Goldschmied, Goldschmied, I'm not sure. But there's the label, I'm sure you've seen it and heard of it. This is the Nolan Ankle Skinny, I think, let's see. Yeah, the Nolan Ankle Relaxed Slim Ankle Jeans. So these are size 30, yeah, 30 regular. And I like the style, I found two pairs at this store. I only picked up one though, I just didn't like the other style and comps weren't as good. There's this light, like medium wash, ripped jean. I think this pair might have been sold at Anthro. I don't have them listed as Anthro, but I saw a couple of people say that they were, but I'm not sure. So yeah, it's a good style. I'll probably get $30 from them. And I did pay $5.75, which is more than I would have liked. Jeans are kind of expensive here, but <laughs> you also probably saw these in my story. They're Lululemon. These, I think these are the Pace Rival uh, crop leggings, but they're blue. These stripes, they're really nice style. I mean, pretty nice anyway. And comps were good, selling for like 40 or 50, which is great. Um, actually pretty good for this style of Lululemon, but 
Unfortunately, I did find down here while I was in the store. Is it down here? Yeah. Towards the ankle, there's a rip. Oh, right, right there, if you can see it. Yeah. So pretty good rip. Um, I listed them as is. Uh, there's a little logo. If you, I'm sure you've all seen this logo. And I might not be able to show it because I'm challenged, but there. So, yeah, I mean, I probably shouldn't have picked them up um, just because of that rip. I'll probably be able to get $20 still. I'm going to Lululemon or Green, I don't know. I'm going to a like bigger city that has Lululemon probably next month to go sourcing. So I'll probably go to Lululemon while I'm there and have them fix the hole. It won't be perfect. It'll probably have a patch or something there, but that's okay. It'll be better than this and I can say that it was fixed by Lululemon. Um, my mom was gonna sew it up, but then we decided we'd just wait for Lululemon to fix it. Cause if you don't know, Lululemon does do free repairs. So you can bring in something that's ripped from them or like not stained, I don't think, but you can bring in like something that's ripped or flawed and they'll try to fix it for free. Yeah, you see Space Rival crops, they're a size eight. I'll give you a good deal on these if you want them, like $20 shipped, let's say. They're a size, I, I think I already said they're a size eight, but. Okay, this was exciting. So this is Ibex, definitely a Bolo brand for sure. Oh no, Ibex, sorry, not Ibex. Um, Bolo brand for sure, it's like an outdoor brand. I learned about this brand from Far North Thrift, I think it's her username, sorry, but um, yeah, Ibex, super expensive outdoors brand. There's a little logo on the back. This is a men's piece. I kind of wish it was my size, I'd probably keep it because it's so comfortable, super soft. But it's just a sweater vest. It's probably retailed for like 175 I listed it at 89 It's gotten a good amount of attention. It's just been listed a couple days, so I'll probably get like 50 bucks from this, and I paid six. So yeah, definitely pick this brand up if you find it and if it's in good condition and cheap. Okay, next up, another Lululemon piece. I'm glad to be finding Lululemon again because as you'll probably know, I did recently move and I haven't been finding much Lululemon here. Before today, I found a Swiftly Tech tank, which I love selling anything Swiftly Tech. And I also love Swiftly Tech tees, like for myself. I haven't bought any, but I've tried some on at Lululemon and they're awesome. But anyway, I found a Swiftly Tech tank top, but it was super stained, so I had to leave it behind. But I am really glad to see that people do wear and donate Lululemon here. I would think that they would, because there's one like half an hour away from where I live, but this is the Love Plated Tank. It's got these plates on the back here. And then the logo is down here. If I can find it, here we go. This is like more of a rubber logo, which is slightly newer. Not their newest style, but it is newer than just like their plain, um, like white labels, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, just a basic tank top. I think this is a size six. There's no size dot, but measurements look like a six. Another super exciting find. These just sold today, but it's Everlane again. I found two Everlane pieces in the same Goodwill. Everlane. There are these just like chino pants. Really nice basic style for Everlane. They're still on their website actually. This size is sold out, but they are still available on their website, so super current. Um I listed these at 50 because they're they only retail for 59, but I listed those at 50, I got an offer for 30, I counted 40, they counted 35, and I accepted. I wanted 30, I got 28. Um I'm fine with that because I listed them two nights ago. So yeah. Great find, Everlane, always sells fast. Love that brand so much. Okay, is this the last piece? I think this is the last piece. Huh, I thought there was more than that. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, so this was another exciting find at the first Goodwill. It's frame denim. I really like selling frame. I've only had it a few times, but it sells pretty good. I have these listed at 60. The comps weren't as good as um, other pairs that I've sold before, but that's still pretty decent. I paid $6 for them. They're just these striped um, lay mini boot cut jean. I like these a lot. They're kind of different. My mom says they look like circus pants. I don't think they do. I think they're nice. Um, Show Me or Moo Moo has some similar jeans to this, but yeah, frame denim, definitely bubble brand. This retail for $225. They're a size 31, so great size. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think I got 17 items, like I said. Um, I'm just really glad to see that their stores are decent here, even though they're more expensive and I'm not able to pick up as much stuff as I would like to. It's still some great stuff, like some really quality inventory here um, compared to what I used to pick up in Illinois, because I used to just grab like everything that was decent. Um, so I'd only be making like 10, $15 off some stuff, but this stuff is all really good. Um, I'm excited about everything I'm picking up, which is great. <laughs> My hair's going crazy. Yeah, so I just 
yeah, I'm really excited to be excited finally about stuff that I'm picking up and kind of narrowing down on a certain style and like look to my closet. Yeah, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it, if you did, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm going to be posting every week, maybe twice a week, but probably just once a week for now. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Turn on the notification bell. Comment down below if you, what you thought of the whole. Yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you have a great day. Bye.